Welcome to Work Love Wednesday. Daniel and Smeltz are here for Work Love Wednesday. We are, it is time for Work Love Wednesday. Hi Facebook, Sam Smelter here for Work Love Wednesday. I am a little late this week, um, but not so late as I was last week because I didn't do it. Uh, we had, um, Wednesday was a solemn day. Uh, I was basically spending the day attending a celebration of life service for someone that we lost um, and yeah, that was where my intention and my attention was. But it kind of feeds into the topic for today. So I know, I guess it would be two weeks ago, I had kind of hinted at sharing a technique um, that's all around making sure that you're surrounded by things that bring you joy. And then as I was thinking about it, I realized that that really probably is a great topic for uh, the holiday season that is fast approaching. Um, because next week I obviously want to talk a little bit about gratitude because I had a really humbling lesson about that this week um, that I want to share with all of you. But today I want to talk about this concept about people coming and going, which is one of the most incredible lessons that I have learned probably in the last two years and in regards to even energy in general. So last week, or I shouldn't say last week, two weeks ago, when I talked about protecting yourself and protecting your personal energy, I talked about how energy is one of those things that we have that kind of projects from us. So you can read it to about a foot away from you, which may be me making that up, but I know that you can read it outside of your body. That's why we can feel that connection uh, between us and other people. And so with that comes the potential to rub each other essentially or literally the wrong way, um, kind of like an oil water mix. And so what's interesting about individuals who maybe are on a personal development kind of growth path, which I have been heavily on the last three years and almost all facets of my life, is that um, you can outgrow people. Um, and I don't even like that terminology. The terminology that I like to just recognize is that people come and go in your life. It doesn't mean that they go completely away. Uh, it just means that those relationships change. That's why you might be closer to somebody and then not so much in the near future. In fact, as you continue down your personal development growth, whether it is physically, mentally, or spiritually, or all of the above, you know, as you reach and you elevate yourself, you'll find that you connect with others new um, and have really great relationships. And then those that you used to connect with, it just won't feel the same. And I say this, and, and the reason why I wanted to talk about this now is I had a experience not too long ago where I was reconnecting with someone who um, was a really close friend for uh, a large amount of couple of years. And when we met, it just didn't feel the same. And I had this level of sadness uh, that was associated with it because I've learned this lesson that people come and go in our lives um, and kind of almost getting that sensation that this potentially is a signal that this relationship is going to morph into one um, where they'll still be present in my life, but it won't be as close as it was before. Um, and I think this is kind of the natural cycle that happens when we are building relationships with people. You know, we have this, this false notion that well, when we build a relationship with someone, we can maintain it and it will always be as it was. But that's also uh, having the expectation that we're never going to change as individuals. And one of the really awesome examples of this is actually... Um, going way, way back to elementary school, junior high, uh, and high school, you know, I grew up in Los Angeles County in California, um, which just taking a moment for what is happening out there um, between the shooting that happened in Thousand Oaks, um, my prayers go out to those individuals and um, to those fires that are happening um, in Los Angeles County, but also up north. Um, you know, just keep them in your prayers. Uh, look for ways to give back with Red Cross. Um, it's definitely hitting places that are really close to home for me. Um, 
and it just breaks my heart seeing the footage because it's it's just really bad right now. Um, and I, I digress, but going back to going back to the fact that I grew up out there, I moved to York, Pennsylvania when I was 16, um, and I wanted to really hold on to the relationships that I had out there. Um, and I held this this false notion for so long that that world would basically pause, all those relationships would pause, I would pause in my development and then, and everything would kind of pick back up whenever uh, I returned or I was able to connect with those individuals. And that's not true. So much so that one of my closest friends at that time, she actually called it out very quickly um, and actually very grateful that she did. I just wish that I had an appreciation for it then as I do now that she basically said, hey, you know, we're two different people um, and we need to stop trying to force this. Like our worlds just don't mesh anymore. I have an appreciation for who you were and how you contribute to my life when you were here. Um, but it's just different now. And I didn't like hearing that. I didn't want to hear that because I was trying to live in what was and, and she was growing herself and she was moving into her full potential. And I didn't understand it then. It was very heartbreaking. I was angry. Um, and now I can fully appreciate where she was coming from. If anything, she was way more wise beyond her years than uh, I gave her credit for. But that was the first time that I really experienced this idea of people come and go. I was on the side where somebody was outgrowing me or moving on to that next level. And I ran into her probably about a year ago when we were out visiting in California randomly. Like the universe just kind of put us together in the same place at the same time uh, for no rhyme or reason. And, um, and she was completely warm and welcoming and the relationship is different, but it still plays an appreciation to what it was and how it served each of us in our kind of growth paths. And so, um, I say this to you because it's something that's really, uh, painful for me. It's very hard for me to handle. In fact, a couple weeks ago when I had this lunch kind of interaction, um, I was kind of down in the dumps. My energy kind of hit a negative low, um, because it's almost like a, a grieving process of losing that, that relationship, whether it's because of the way that they're growing and you're growing just for whatever reason, energetically it doesn't mesh anymore. And it's sad, but at the same time, you're so grateful that those people came into your life when they did and they helped to contribute and help you become who you are at this moment. Um, now, the other thing that I want to talk about in relation to this topic that is very relevant to why I did not do Work Love Wednesday last week is that people do literally come and go. People are here one day and then gone the next. Um, and we like to... <sighs> We like to believe that there's always going to be this infinite amount of time, but there's not. There's a finite amount of time and you don't know when that finite amount of time is going to end. And this speaks even to a larger conversation. Uh, and in fact, this morning I was catching up with my good pal DK and um, the first topic that we just kind of dove into was this concept of work-life balance, or as I call it, having a balanced life, um, and how I've been really trying to make some intentional decisions lately about creating more of a balanced life and moving away from thinking that I'm going to get to it one day because I realized that I'm missing way too much that's happening right now with this thought that there's always going to be a guarantee for tomorrow and there is no guarantee for tomorrow. And in fact, some of the things that happen in our environmental or political climate sometimes instill a level of fear or even reality that tomorrow is not something to take for granted that we truly don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, and if there's going to be a tomorrow and if you're going to be able to get to all those people that you want to connect with. Um, and so, being present in the moment is really one of the biggest takeaways that I could give you today. Knowing that inevitably you're going to outgrow people, people are going to outgrow you, there's going to be a change in that dynamic, it's going to happen. Um, if you're married, if you're in a relationship romantically, or even if you have best friends, you'll know that this is true. You'll go through those um, ups and hills and valleys and you either kind of grow together and accept each other as you go to these different phases or you grow apart. Uh, which it, it happens. And, you know, 
we are taught to believe that you kind of, once again, find these relationships, especially like with marriage, you find Prince Charming or the uh, um, girl of your dreams. And, uh, and then that's the biggest hurdle that you have to encounter. And it's not, it's actually building a life together and recognizing the individual for who they are. Um, and allowing and paying respect to that as you continue to grow together. So my biggest takeaway is do not take for granted any of this finite time that we have with the people who matter most to you right now. Make sure that you're making the time to spend that quality time for them because you don't know when that will be over, when you won't have that opportunity for whatever reason that is out there. Um, you know, people are truly a gift. They all show up no matter how the ending or the breakup is and how terrible it is. Uh, they're always a gift. And I know that every person who's come into my life and left has, has contributed greatly to who I am today. Um, and even if it caused pain when they did leave, it, it made me stronger. It made me um, increase the awareness about myself, even if I was the one that triggered the ending and um, if it made me have to take some hard looks at myself. Um, and I, I think we all definitely grow and learn from those lessons. We don't always get the chance to go back and repair these relationships, but those relationships do make us who we are. We're human beings. We have a natural, um, innate, desire to connect with other people. It's always going to be there. Um, and so we need to recognize that those connections are necessary for us being human, but also have an impact and influence on us. So be present today, send an email, text, um, phone call, schedule a lunch, schedule a coffee, connect with someone that you, um, that you've been putting off, that you've just been writing down on the list uh, today. So those were my thoughts today for Work Love Wednesday. If you're watching this at a later point in time, um, comment, say hello, give me a thumbs up. If you have any thoughts as to um, topics that you would hear, want to hear about in the future, or if you have a question that you want me to answer, you can comment in this video, or you can email me at Sam. S-A-M-M -M, at leadershipisart.com. And uh, I'll be happy to look at those for next Wednesday. So next Wednesday, I want to talk about gratitude. Um, but uh, I want to talk about a unique way that I learned how to be grateful for the people that are around me um, from a scenario that honestly kind of ticked me off for a long time. So have a great week, a great weekend, and I'll talk to you next Wednesday. Bye.